son. In December 1995, NASA and ESA launched the SOHO satellite into space. SOHO, which stands for Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, has since then sent us a steady stream of measurement data from the sun. In 2006, a new era of solar observation quality was ushered in with the dual satellites called stereo. These two satellites observe the sun simultaneously from different angles. Like a giant pair of human eyes, the stereo mission gives us an unprecedented spatial view of our central celestial body. The research focuses on the observation of explosions on the sun's surface. These solar flares, or eruptions, catapult high-energy charge carriers into space at speeds of several million kilometers per hour. A coronal mass ejection is uh, the violent expulsion of a part of the solar atmosphere that contains both magnetic field and uh, plasma. Our Earth's magnetic field protects us from these particles, diverting them into a detour around the globe. This causes an effect which we can observe at both of the Earth's poles, known as the Northern Lights. But behind what we experience as a spectacular show of nature, lurks an unpleasant shadow. They can really disrupt uh, satellite communications. They can affect uh, GPS uh, signals, our cell phones. They can even induce uh, a lot of currents in the northern latitudes and even cause uh, uh, electricity disruptions. The probability of what's called a solar superstorm is especially high in the next few years. NASA solar researchers have classified the maximum solar activity expected during this time period as so dangerous that in 2009, they began to issue official warnings about its possible effects. Just stirring up panic? Statistics show a clear parallel at all times between population rates on Earth and sunspot activity. A further indication of the strong corollary between the reactions of our climate and all biological life on Earth to solar cycles. There is a bulk of uh, supporting evidence making a whole story uh, consistent. And that is very important because ev every cycle that we map, every uh, effect that you find that may be associated with solar activity or other uh, cycles that uh, exist in our environment, they are always substantiated on the basis of uh, statistical analysis. What that means is that there is a direct relationship between the mood measure, the self-rated mood, and cosmological variables, both the solar wind speed and the antipodal geomagnetic disturbance index. And another thing, 
On the morning of September 1st, 1859, British astronomer and sun researcher Richard Carrington happened, by coincidence, to observe a blazing explosion on the surface of the sun. He knew at once that he had witnessed a very special event. In the nights that followed, brilliant northern lights could be seen all over the globe, as far from the poles as Hawaii and Jamaica. This particularly severe magnetic storm disabled the telegraph network worldwide and caused the paper in the teletype machines to burst into flames. That was 1859. 